Hello friends, this video on motion and time part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have spoken so much about speeds, how do you think we measure speed? How do we say we, we talk about the speed uh, when we want to determine which object is moving fast and which object is moving slow? So how do we uh, measure it? So speed is dependent on two main quantities. One is distance and the other one is time. Now we all know how do we define speed. So speed is defined as distance traveled per unit time. Now how do we measure distance? Distance is measured in unit, distance measures length. So distance is measured in units like meters, kilometers. So these are the units to measure distance. Now how do we measure time? Time is primarily measured in three major units, hour, minute, and seconds. Now, in order to understand these three, the best example would be looking at your wall clock. So on the wall clock, you can see a big hand, a small hand, and a very thin and tiny hand, which moves very fast. So these three hands will tell you the hour hand, minute hand, and the second hand. So the smaller hand is the hour hand. The bigger hand or the larger hand is the minute hand. And a very thin hand which moves very fast, that is the second hand. Now the second hand moves with each second. The hour hand moves every hour. So from two, it moves to three only after one hour. And the minute hand moves every minute. So that's how the three hands of the uh, clock moves. And there exists a relationship between these three units of time. Now one hour is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds, right? So now these are the three possible units of time. So therefore the common, commonly used units of speed are kilometer per hour or meter per second. These are the most commonly used uh, units of speed and we can interconvert the units like we can convert meter per second to kilometer per hour. We can also convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. So let us look at some examples. So let us say you have a value 10 meter per second and you want to convert it into kilometer per hour. So how do you do that? So 10 meter per second basically means 10 meter divided by one second. So how do you convert 10 meter into kilometer? 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilometer and one second would be 1 by 60 into 60 hours. So when you calculate this, it comes out to be 36 kilometers per hour. So basically 10 meter per second is equal to 36 kilometer per hour. So that's how we, I mean, these are the common units of speed. And you would have seen these units written on the meter present inside your car, inside your car or your bike. So have you ever seen uh, the, the meter which is present inside your vehicle which shows the speed of your vehicle. So as you start driving fast, so this uh, hand it keeps moving very fast. So and at the end of it you will see somewhere it would be written kilometer per hour or meter per hour something like that would be written there. So this is how we measure speed. Now when it comes to measuring speed, so unit is something which is needed for measuring speed. Besides that there are certain devices also which are used for measuring speed. So these kind of devices are very evidently seen in uh, the vehicle, especially if you uh, if you uh, get time, just try to observe it in uh, motorcycles or bikes or uh, cars, and you will be able to see these kind of devices. So the device is called speedometer. So speedometer is a device that measures speed. Of course, the name speaks for itself. Speedometer, obviously, measuring speed. Now similarly there is another device called odometer and it measures the total distance that is being covered till now. So inside the car you have two meters like this. So one of these will measure the speed as you can see here me per hour. So meters per hour, kilometers per hour that would measure the speed and this is the odometer. 
which will measure the total distance so here you have the values like 1 2 3 4 and 5 but whatever wherever this um, this hand indicates that gets multiplied by 1000 to give you the total distance covered. So that's the difference between speedometer and odometer. So you would have seen that often people driving cars or people who want to sell their old cars, they often talk about how much is the total distance that is being uh, driven by your old car. So how do you get that value through the odometer because it tells the total distance that is being traveled by that vehicle. So that's the purpose of odometer and speedometer as you accelerate the vehicle as you increase the speed you can see the speedometer also running very fast. So, so that's about the devices which help us to measure speed. Now when we talk about speed it is not only the vehicles which, uh, which we can think of uh, when we talk about speed. You talk of animals for example cheetah which is very much known for its speed. It is one of the fastest land animals and it has a speed of around 112 kilometers per hour. So that's a huge speed. It, it runs that fast. You talk about human beings. Normally human beings have an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. You talk about wind. So wind also has a speed, the wind speed. Now, if you would have seen in the weather forecast reports, it often talks about wind and it says 5 mph, that is 5 meters per hour. So similarly, you, you can see here, this line indicates the wind speed over a week. So every day the wind speed is changing. Sometimes it is 2, sometimes it has increased to 4. Again, it has decreased to 2 and so on. So wind speed also um, matters to uh, also influences a lot of stuff. You talk about the moving blades of the fan. So that also has a speed. So everything which is in motion has certain speed associated with it. So uh, when we try to talk about their motion or when we try to describe their motion, we try to describe how fast the object is moving. And that is where we talk about speed. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.